So what I've done was basically took one for the team. And here I have the draw tight um, hitch installed on my fiance's 2018 Outback, which coincidentally is literally the same thing as mine. We just got another one because we needed a new car and we both love mine. So we just pretty much got the same thing instead of, we got a good deal on it instead of waiting for the 19 and uh, the ascent will be probably in the next two years. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so I have the draw tight installed and there's a few things I've noticed. Um, yes, it is cheaper, 100 bucks by, you know, versus the uh, Eco Hitch, but there's a few cons. Um, of course, there are pros, like I said, 100 bucks saved, but there's a few cons. So I wanted to just point them out. I also have the um, eco hitch here that is that was on my car. I took it off because we're gonna be Swapping we're gonna see what the difference is. So I got another eco hitch. Yes, I did pay for both of them um, They were not sent to me. They were um, Purchased from eTrailer.com just to give them a shout out um, The one I had on my car was from um, From uh, what's it called? from Torque Lift that was sent to me, which if you watch my other videos, I mentioned that, that it was sent to me to do some uh, do some work on and test something out. So let's get right into it. So first problem I found, which I think personally is a problem. If you look at the hitch, this just has a cover on it. Look how low that sits down from the bumper and it sticks kind of far out. It doesn't sit up tight like the, um, the Eco Hitch. Also, when I take it off, you'll see there's a difference. You can't really tell, but there's actually, it, can't, it doesn't sit flat with the car, it sits down a couple degrees. And it's very noticeable when, you know, you look from the side of the car, actually you could probably see it there. And that's, my phone is level, and you can see how it's kind of sloping down a little bit. Um, you know, some people might say, hey, that's not a big deal, but, you know, I like it to be tight because if you're going to go off-roading, not that I am, but if you go off-roading, you want it to be up higher, kind of tucked onto the car. The Eco Hitch um, sits back more and it sits up more a little bit. Um, you'll see when I, I show you uh, mounted on here. So it sits far out. Yes, there is a higher tongue weight on this one. I think this one is 600 pounds. The Eco Hitch is like 350 or something like that. But when I take this off, I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and you'll see the difference in quality, manufacturing, um, you know, the difference in the this area here. Um, so I'll go ahead and take that off now, but I just wanted to give you a side shot. Actually, there you go, you can see how it's Hanging down a little bit, sticking out pretty far. It just looks like it doesn't fit. It doesn't like it doesn't look right. So, I mean, like I said, you're saving a hundred bucks, but you know, I, I'd rather spend a couple more dollars, get something that's you know, number one, built in the USA. I don't think that these are built in the USA. They're probably not. Um, it's built in the USA, and it, you know, it just looks better on the car. These cars are for me. It's all about looks and functionality, form and function. Um, so I'll go ahead and take this off and I will get back to you. So here's the draw tight hitch, the 76227 and the <clears throat> torque lift eco hitch. So let's start out by just kind of looking at the sides. Um, so here's the bolt pattern. These are, the holes are a little smaller uh, right here versus the torque lift, so this one will allow you to, you know, adjust it a little more. Um, now, if you notice, get closer here. This is just a bent piece of metal. Um, you know, it's got the hollow tube. Sorry, hollow tubing. 
But if you look at the torque lift one, it's reinforced and it's welded, you know, on the side right here to this piece here. And it's welded on the bottom down here, also a hollow tube. So this has more supporting structure to it than the, um, <clears throat> the jaw tight one. Both were sprayed with a uh, Rust-Oleum rust inhibitor, which I mentioned in my previous video. Um, they were also sprayed with um, some other rust stuff. But it's to, it's to prevent rust um, on both of them. Uh, what else? So the tubing is exactly the same here and here. I'm not sure, I can't really tell if the, the thickness is the same. Um, I'm not too sure. So, working our way down. <clears throat> now you can see the difference here, how the, the torque lift one has a much shorter, I guess, I'm gonna call this the neck, I guess you can say, versus the draw tight one, which is a lot larger. <clears throat> so that's why it sticks out further from the car versus the torque lift one, which like I said, it sits lower and higher than this one. Um, if you look at it from this angle, it does look flush. I mean, that's sitting flush on the ground, but I'm telling you, it's got like this angle. It's just really annoying. Um, so anyway, this one has two bolt hole sizes versus the torque lift just has the one. And also, on the draw tight, this is, I guess, your, your cable stay or your whatever you want. Chain holder, whatever you want to call it. You can see the difference on the torque lift one, how it's actually, <coughs> you know, this one was just welded in two spots. This one is a solid piece of metal that goes all the way down. And I guess this is the, the new version, which I worked with them on. It's a solid piece of metal that goes down and wraps all the way around. <clears throat> um, on the previous one, they had a little gap right here, which um, allowed water to, you know, if you look at my other video, it came through and out, and all this started to rust and looked terrible. <clears throat> so I said, I, we should, you know, you should do a solid piece of metal, and I was one of their prototypes. I guess this is their second one. Um, this one here is just a hollow piece of metal and it's uh, welded on top. So this is a welded piece here, inside and on the outside. This is one solid piece that's welded onto here. This looks a little thinner than this, but the structure of that is a lot uh, smoother looking. Coming around to this side, it's pretty much exactly the same. <clears throat> you can see the support piece here versus on that one. Again, it's the same hollow, you know, hollow piece of metal. So, I mean, looking at it from this angle, you're getting much more support and much more structural rigidity from the torque lift than you are the draw tight. Um, so, if that's something that's a concern for you, if you're going to be, uh, if you want more weight, then I will go with the Eco Hitch. Yes, you're saving money with the draw tight, but I mean, look at the quality. It's just not, it's not there. It's not, there's no support on the end here. You know, this neck piece or the piece that comes down, you know, it's just a bunch of pieces of metals welded together. This is one solid piece. Um, then the, where the cables go, where the chains go, that's one solid piece of metal. Like I said, I'm pretty sure on the, the current version, it's still one solid piece. This is just on, you know, welded on two, two areas. I've never hauled anything with chains, so God forbid, you know, it pops off the ball and it catches on the chain. You know, how much weight is that chain gonna hold versus one solid piece of metal? You know, take that into consideration. Plus, like, if you look at the hitch hole here, versus here. This one just looks so much beefier. The whole thing, the whole outside is a much beefier piece of metal 
than this one. I mean, yeah, it looks nice, it's rounded, it's, you know, but that doesn't really do anything for me. I mean, this, like, granted it says torque lift there, um, right there. Um, that doesn't really bother me because I have a cover that goes over it. But the whole thing itself, I mean, it's just, like I said, I keep saying the quality is there. I mean, it's a, it's a solid piece of, you know, can't say machinery, but <clears throat> it's just solid. Like it's built with the support here, the support in the back, the support in the front. So I have the poles, you know, it, it has the, it's welding up on top versus on this one, it's just on the sides and that little piece here. Um, you know, the only bonus, like I said, with this one is you're getting more tongue weight, but you know, you also have to consider the outback. The outback can't really handle that much weight. So, you know, it's ultimately your call. Uh, it's your car, but for me, you know, I'm definitely gonna be sending this one back. Definitely staying with the torque lift. I'm gonna be putting that on my fiance's car now. This bad boy is going in the box and it's going back. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. If you want any other um, Outback videos, let me know. And uh, I'll be sure to get them done. So thanks to eTrailer for getting me the draw tight. And the thanks to Torque Lift for getting me the Eco Hitch. And, um, you know, like I said before, Eco Hitch, Torque Lift for the win. Um, but, you know, if you want to save 100 bucks, go with that guy. If you want to spend a little more and get a solid, you know, tow hitch for your car, you paid all that money for this car, you might as well get one and do it right once and don't have to worry about it, then go with that. So again, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, that's about it. Take care.